Hello, I'm Colette Nitz, and I'm coming at you from uh, Toronto, Ontario, and it is Thursday, June 10th, 2021, and yeah, I have another episode for you guys. So let's start. Um, I think it's been about four months since I last recorded, and I just listened over to the episode I last did to catch up. Uh, on what I had to show you guys for my knits. And yeah, a lot's happened since then. So, um, yeah, I, we don't have to get too much into the life stuff yet, but um, I'll start with the knitting. So since last episode, I have, my goal was to make 12 pairs of socks in 2021. They could also be whips, could be whatever. Um, and I had some yarn pre-wound and ready to go, and a lot of it was the Cozy Knitter yarn. So I have some FOs to show you. So this is my first one. I finished these uh, in February. They were the perfect, you know, Valentine's Day socks. This is the Cozy Knitter yarn in her sweetheart colorway. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed them. I mean, my... This was just a 64 stitch sock on 2.25 9 inch circulars, um, just knit for a couple inches, put in a fish lips kiss heel with the contrast color and knit the foot and then a rounded toe with kitchener stitch. That's my pretty much my sock recipe. Um, so I did these ones for February. And this is in the Sweetheart colorway. These are my March socks. And I did, these are in the Celebrate the Night color. Uh, this one was a lot of fun because it has like a ton of colors, a ton of stripes. And both of my pairs of socks matched, even though I didn't um, necessarily put that much planning into matching them. But somehow with Christina's yarn, the Cozy Knitter, all of the socks line up really well every time. It could just be the um, length of my foot, the length of my legs. But yeah, that's kind of nice. So the Celebrate the Night was really good. Um, yeah, my boyfriend said if it wasn't for the purple, he might snag these. And even with the purple, he might. Um, so sometimes I'm more... Sometimes I buy pink sock yarn, so he won't, but it doesn't usually stop him. He'll still take my socks if he's cold, um, but that's not really his fault. I just need to make him more socks, I think. Um, so then this one was a whip, and I actually finished these like on the weekend. I could have finished them faster, but I got so excited. These are the Cozy Knitter um, 2020 advent skeins and it comes in two little skeins that you can wind up together to make exactly matching socks. Um, hold on. Bows, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Okay. I thought he would for sure take the laptop with me, with him, which, um, isn't the first time he's taken a laptop down with him. So, yeah, these are my Cozy Knitter yarns. Um, this is her Advent Skeins. They're really cool. Um, I wanted to originally knit the entire small skein. So I had these socks, like, super long. They were, like, way over this blocker for the leg and um, put it on my foot. I had both of them that far. Put them on my foot and uh, feet, and they were uh, making the leg that long. I should have done increases on the leg as it got closer up my leg. Um, so all the time I spent knitting that, I could have just put a ribbon and yeah, had socks done quicker. But that did leave me with um, two little tiny skeins. So I could do shorties. I could do something. So I can still do something with those. So that's nice. 
And then on my, that's three pairs. So on the socks I'm knitting now, I um, was kind of, it was a similar oops as the super long advent socks. So I was knitting these ones in the lumberjack colorway, also by the Cozy Knitter. And I did this really fun slip stitch. But what I did was um, I did these the exact same way I did the other couple socks. Same 64 stitches um, with this slip stitch. And all it was was like at the beginning of every stripe change, I slipped the first stitch. Um, I did slip one, knit three which is great, but on 64 stitches socks, which is what my size is, these, it did like tighten the whole sock. So these were way too small to fit. And instead of just like, oh, you know, I'll try it on first, try on the, the leg, see how it fits. No, 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 I did the whole leg, did the whole other leg, did heels, did the foot, and then tried them on. And they were way too tight. And they're even too tight for the smallest person's feet in my family. And they were just like super stretched. And I thought I could gift them, but like it'd almost be to like a little kid to get it over the heel. That was way too tight. So I thought, you know what, screw it. Um, that's kind of why I wanted to make this podcast because I wanted to show you guys these socks before I frog them, start over. And I'm not too worried. I, I mean, I was a little butthurt about it at first because all that work I put into these. But really, it's is it really that bad? It's not. I mean, it's I really like this yarn. I really like this colors. Um, I was going to give these to my boyfriend. So, like, I would be sad if they didn't work out. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to redo them. But that's that. So I am uh, kind of behind on my 12 pairs of socks because now it's June. I ideally would have had half of them done by now and had six pairs, but I have um, this one that I showed you last episode, Secret Garden, and three more pairs and one on the way. Also, um, another sock width that I'm working on right now is I um, started this I think I actually cast this on last year on my birthday and today actually is my birthday again. So pulled these bad boys out uh, about maybe a couple days ago so that I could knit them on my birthday. This is the It's Your Birthday color by Scrumptious Pearl and I'm doing the um, umbrella socks pattern by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears. Um, the podcast is great. Her patterns are great. And this is a toe up afterthought heel. I've never done a afterthought heel where I've had to cut my yarn. I have done the Susan B. Anderson afterthought heel one that she has. Smooth operator sock. I've done that one, but I put in waist yarn for where the heel would go. Didn't love the, I don't love the feel of like feeling the kitchener stitch there on my heel. So I've only made that type of sock maybe once or twice, but these umbrella socks, I'll have to actually uh, cut in. Oh, someone's home. <coughs> oh, sorry. Someone just got home and the dogs were barking. So I wanted to pause for a second. So, um, yeah, so these are the umbrella sock pattern. It is a toe up and then cut in for the heel later which is good. I like that on this one because I could just go, 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 go. And I'll finish the leg and the cuff and then cut in for the, figure out my math and my measurements to cut in for the heel later when I'm done. So that's exciting. So this is scrumptious pearl yarn and it actually comes like this in the gobstopper ball. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's very bright colors. It's really nice. It's really vibrant and bright. It's a really good color. Um, that's one thing I really like about the Scrumptious Pearl yarn is when I first saw it, I liked that it was Canadian. So it was um, Canadian dollars. And 
they sell it like this in a gobstopper ball, or at least they were selling it that way last time I bought anything from them. Um, this was very appealing to me since I didn't have a yarn winder at the time. So that is my sock whip to go alongside this one when I restart it. Sorry, the, the sun is changing out there. So, uh, another, oh, another, let me show you another finished object. So this I finished and uh, was saving to show you guys before I gift it off. My face is like breaking out here. I'm so conscious about it, but it's from wearing a face mask all day, all the time. So what can you do? So these are my, um, this is the Oslo hat, two of them. Um, it's kind of like um, daddy and baby or daddy and kid ones that I did. So this is for my cousin's husband and their baby. Um, they asked, he asked for an orange hat when his wife was pregnant. And so, um, you know, the baby's almost one and I finally finished them. So that will fit them for this winter coming. Um, the Oslo hat pattern is a pattern by Petite Knit and it is really good. You can do it in fingering weight held double or DK or fingering with mohair. I think she has different patterns that call for it. And you're just like, it's so good for, a uh, kind of relaxing or simple knit. I don't want to say like mindless because I don't feel like that's the proper description. I don't think mindless is the right term. I think relaxing or simple or for me it was like when I wanted to just knit and not think too much. I guess mindless. Um, yeah because you're pretty much just knitting and keeping track of your measurements and then um, changing, like changing your work a little bit and, uh, you kind of, um, do, I don't want to give away the pattern, but you do more at the end, if that makes sense. So you can just knit, 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 keep track of your measurements. And then, um, at the end, do your special thing and there you have it. It's really cute. They're really cute hats. Um, feel like it'll be a great like snowmobiling hat or whatever it's very warm because it's like double brimmed it's like, actually a really nice hat so I'm excited to give that to them they are expecting it and they'll like it um yeah so then um I'll show you guys this one. This is a test knit I've been doing for Anna Sophia Vintersol. And she is, um, she does some really cool patterns like sweaters, um, like Icelandic with like color work. Um, yeah, she's, so she has really nice sweaters, cowls. Um, tons of sweaters and like with like tons of different motifs and stuff. It's beautiful yarn. She usually uses like a let lopi and um, not so much this pattern, but her other patterns. And the reason I was, she was on my radar and I really liked what she did was because some of her sweater patterns are color work and they have animal themes to them, like foxes, fox motifs, or I'm just going to shut my door. Yeah, so some of her patterns are like fox motifs or um, paw prints or like wolves and stuff like that. So that kind of is what put me on, put her on my radar of patterns I liked. And then she had a call for test knitters. And um, yeah, so this is the pattern. It is called the, I'm going to totally ruin the name. I think it's Han... Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I will spell it. The Hanovi cowl. 
H-O-N-O-V-I, cowl. And in her pattern, or what she used for her sample was um, Let Lopey yarn. And I have some Let Lopey, but not, um, I don't, I didn't think I'd have enough because I'm like using it for a sweater. So I didn't really want to break into that sweater stash that I had. So I used um, Brooklyn Tweed Shelter, and it actually looks so cool on the camera. So this is with Brooklyn Tweed Shelter. And yeah, here we have, I'm not really giving away the pattern because she's already published it. Um, this I'll come back to because uh, that was just the cast on, which was a new cast on to me. She has links in her patterns of how to do stuff if you're not sure. Um, Latvian braid, which is really cool. The This Latvian braid is really cool. Uh, that was new to me too, and not as hard as I thought it would be. Hold on. Yeah, it wasn't as hard as I thought. This one is a little loose and isn't quite as nice as like this one looks a little tighter and better. So I definitely got better on the second one. Um, yeah, but the color work is relatively simple. I mean, it was nice to just like sit and look at something and do this while I watched like TV, like um, all my housewives shows. <laughs> mindless TV for a complicated knit. Um, so that was really cool. So this, I could stop here and block it and then seam it together, but it'd be a very, very snug cowl. So I'm going to do another repeat of the whole thing. And I've kind of thought like, should I do three different colors all together? Um, I have enough Brooklyn Tweed Shelter that I could, but I don't think I'm going to because I have another skein of all these colors and still a little bit left of what I had before. So I think I'm just going to continue with the charts with the same colors and yeah, it'll just be like a really cohesive cowl. So I'm really excited about that. This is a nice one. Be kind of something different and ready by the time winter rolls around. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about this that's living in a chicken boots bag. I really like this bag. She doesn't do them anymore, but she does have um, uh, sewing lessons. I think she teaches sewing lessons and you can learn how to make this type of bag with like the window and everything. So that's kind of neat. My, um, my other socks are living in a J. Hendry bag with Boston Terriers on it. Can't go wrong there. I've got two Boston Terriers, as you see. So um, yeah, I love that bag. I don't know if you can see Bowser there. <laughs> Bowser um, tore his ACL, so he's been quite sad on bed rest. So he was sitting on my lap for a while here since I'm in his bed and he's supposed to be on bed rest. So um, yeah, he, he's been pretty sad, but he's okay. He's small enough that we can carry him around, but, um, yeah, he's, he's getting old, so poor guy, but yeah, he, um, he did that, so that sucks. Um, that's pretty much all I have to show you guys. I tried to make this a quick one. I don't have a lot of time and I didn't want to, um, go too long between episodes, even though I did, I don't, I didn't want to go any longer. I'm kind of thinking, I have a lot of um, abandoned whips, so I was thinking maybe doing a video and showing you guys all my whips and doing a finish or frog it video, uh, line up all the bags and see what we got, and then maybe just show you guys like a whip or like a an old whip each time. That'd be kind of cool. I think I'm doing that. Or, uh, yeah, maybe I'll do that in a bit. I, we're moving, so that's excited. We bought a house. So, um, it's going to get pretty crazy around here soon because we have three weeks and then we move. And, um, yeah, so all this is coming with me and I have a better spot for it. I'm very excited. 
Um, so yeah, I was thinking maybe doing like a finisher frog video. I'll probably only be working on socks, maybe this cowl in the next three weeks. Um, yeah, so that's exciting. So, uh, another thing I wanted to know is if you listeners, watchers want to see, um, acquisitions. Originally when I started the podcast, I didn't really think that was something people wanted to see or and I didn't want to be too like some podcasts you see they're very like selling you on something which is fine and I love a lot of these podcasts that are selling me something uh but I didn't want to be like that but then there are some really cool things that I have bought that have come in and I do want to show them off without being like too preachy or anything so I don't know if that's something you guys want to see. Um, I'll show you one here now. But let me know because uh, maybe I can do that every couple episodes if I have something really cool to show off. Um, so my birthday is today the month of, in the month of June. And my birthstone is um, Alexandre. So I got this Q Loco Color Riot mini set in the like birthstone gemstone kind of thing that's kind of cool something that she's doing you can see I don't really want to take it out but yeah they're all like purples thankfully I like purple so that's good but yeah kind of neat so um there's about four semi-solids in here and then other the rest are like gradients or speckles so yeah I'm excited about that I just wanted to show that off if that's something you're interested in check out Hugh Loco and her color riot minis they're awesome yeah so I just wanted to show you guys that she does them I guess I, I guess she does them every month I only just happened to stumble across it in May and the pre-order for June was up and I was like well it's my birthday so that's kind of cool. So I got that and yeah. So I will um, stop talking because uh, my computer is going to update and shut me down soon, I think. Um, so yeah, everybody have a great day and let me know what you think in the comments down below if seeing acquisitions is something you are interested in or if you are interested in seeing a video of Finish or Frog It. Um, just let me know below and like and subscribe. And if um, you want, head over to Instagram at Colette Knits. Um, you can find me there. I post a lot of stories. And if you're on Ravelry, if that's a safe place for you, I'm at Colette Knits on there as well. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.